G'day punters, just a short intro to this video. This is all about replacing the shrouds, the plastic shrouds around the fog lights on the ARB Deluxe bull bar. G'day punters, uh, another day, uh, another part to go back on the Land Cruiser. These are the fog light shrouds for the uh, ARB bull bar. They originally come with these little round bits moulded into there. I've cut them off with a hacksaw blade, just fold them smooth around there. Now why am I replacing them? Uh, just recently on a trip back from Magnus Water, unfortunately we cleaned up a roo. Yes, we went and did the um, humane thing, went back and had a look and made sure it was dead. Anyhow, it smashed up the left hand surround. I've been to ARB. The part number for the surround kit is 3163015. You can hear the Land Cruiser coming back at the moment, the boss is out driving. Comes with the two surrounds, eight of these clips, eight of these black screws. Four of these silver screws, there's meant to be eight rubber washers, there's only five in this kit, so I'll have to reuse some of the ones I've already got. These black screws, they have a uh, rubber washer fitted to them. They go through these clamps. These clamps actually uh, mount up on the back. There, 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 and there. There's instructions that come with this, it's, uh, they're pretty good. Uh, they say that you can loosely fit the top ones before mounting it in. They also say that you can actually mount your um, fog light before or after installation to the bull bar. These four screws, two each side for the um, blinkers. This is what happened um, when we came back from Agnes. This shroud, shroud just destroyed itself. Popped the fog light, I've just realized there it is there. It's actually popped the lens as well. When we went up to Cape York, uh, this is the only light that actually got water in it. You might just see a little watermark in there. I'm guessing the best time to fit these fog light shrouds or surrounds is probably when the bull bar's off because there's a couple of screws up the top um, that need to come undone and they might be just a little bit difficult to get to. I've pulled the um, fog shroud out now. Uh, the old clips are over there. I managed to recover one of those rubber o-rings that go around the screws, it's a little bit perish but it'll do. Uh, the old shroud, that's it there, it's all buggered up. This had uh, an adjuster screw, I assume for the fog lights there, but I'll stuck it back in now because it was there. The fog light actually fits into that little hole there, mounting hole, and that little mounting hole, there you might see it, just right about there. And you can see the mounting lugs there. Now I need a new fog light, I know that already, because I've popped the um, glass on that and when I've pulled the blinker out I noticed the bulb was blown for actually the parker now these uh, blinker lenses they actually go in one way speaking to the obvious but there's drain holes you can see them there's one there and one the other side so they should be on the bottom when you install it I've already started installing the new screws in there I've put in the top mounting lugs for the shroud I'm actually going to fit this up first before installing the um, fog light and the, the blinker. So I'll give you a look when the, um, this is mounted back up into the bull bar. Before I stick this uh, last locating and locking lug in, which has these little screws with the rubber grommets on it, let me show you, there's two little tabs, one there and one there. That sits up against the back of the bull bar and those little tabs go through a recess in the bull bar so it locates that tab and there's a little fitting on the back of or fitting plastic molding on the back of the shroud goes around here which is the receptacle for that screw so you just need to make sure that these little tabs are located in the bull bar just thought i'd show you from behind what it looks like i've got a little flashlight here i'll do my best that's um that little plate with the screw that i was showing you before you might be able to see just above it and between the moulding, that's the shroud, those tabs go into a little recess for the bull bar. So there's four of those, one there and one above it, another one there and another one up above the um, fog light. So this is the um, left hand shroud fitted in now. That's the one that was all busted up, but as I've previously mentioned, I'll replace the other one as well anyhow. I'm going to fit up now is the blinker and um, try and get this um, fog light in just for the time being until I get some new ones. Having looked a little bit closer now, you'll remember that I've mentioned this little adjusting screw that was in there. 
Well, it actually fits in on that part of the um, fog light, so you can adjust the fog light beam direction. Um, obviously, that's broken. So, um, I'll see it in for the time being, as I mentioned, and when the new one comes, just to get in and adjust it. Uh, by the way, I've um, looked at some steady lights, the LED replacements. These have just got bulbs in them in here. So I'll get some LED ones and um, fit them in. I'll put a uh, link in the description of the fog lights that I order. That's this side finished. I uh, see the fog light wobble around a bit because of that adjusting screw not being um, able to locate in a moulding on the back. Uh, so that's a job done on the left hand side. I'll do the right hand side. You don't need to see. That's just a repeat. On the right hand side, I actually took the shroud out with the lights fitted, uh, pulled the lights out, that is the fog light and the blinker assembly, reassembled it with the fog light and the blinker assembly, and uh, the two top clips in the shroud, and then assembled it that way. That was um, far quicker than um, the way I did it the first way on the left hand side. So there's a tip for you, eh? Um, what I didn't mention is these blinker assemblies where the screws come through there's a little um molding on the inside of the shroud i might better show it here these moldings here that one and that one they'll locate in the lens so they'll um line up your blinker assembly and then you just screw your um screw through the black of the blinker into these moldings makes it nice and easy